Well, to Yemen now, where there are reports of new U.S. and U.K. airstrikes on Houthi targets. The attacks happened on the district of Beit al-Faqih in the Houthi-controlled district of Hodeida. The Security Council is meeting at UN headquarters in New York to discuss the political process and humanitarian crisis in Yemen. Hans Grunberg, the UN Special Envoy for Yemen, told council members that while the spotlight is on the Red Sea, Yemen is not a footnote to a wider regional story. Rising regional tensions linked to the war in Gaza, and in particular the military escalation in the Red Sea, are slowing down the pace of the peace efforts in Yemen. As much as I have tried to insulate the peace process from wider regional dynamics, the reality is that mediation efforts in Yemen cannot be neatly cordoned off. What, has happened, what happens regionally impacts Yemen, and what happens in Yemen can impact the region. Gabriel Alessandro joins us now from the UN headquarters in New York. And Gabriel, what is the Security Council hearing about the impact of the war on Gaza on Yemen's political peace process? Well, that peace process was moving along, and uh, they were close last year to reaching some sort of potential agreement. But what the Security Council has been hearing here on Wednesday is that now that has been not completely derailed because of the uh, current situation, but certainly being made a lot more complicated. Uh, Hans, uh, Hans Grunberg saying that there are multiple things complicating it, but really two things uh, key, and that's first the, the Houthi attacks on the commercial vessels in the Red Sea, and then the U.S. and U.K. strikes in response, but also the United States designating the Houthis a terrorist group certainly is not helping the situation either, according to the U.N. Special Envoy. So clearly his role has been trying to insulate the, the peace talks from outside pressures, uh, so to speak, but uh, he said that is becoming nearly impossible at this stage. Um, what, is the, what are the briefings saying about the humanitarian outlook for Yemen this year? Yeah, it does not look good. Another briefer from the United Nations said that uh, uh, the humanitarian situation is looking even more grim going into the year than it was. 18 million people, about half of the Yemeni population, will need humanitarian assistance this year alone. About 17 million Yemenis are food insecure, and 2.7 million women and 5 million children, often the most vulnerable, will need treatment for acute malnutrition. And getting aid into Yemen this year seems like it's going to be particularly difficult and costly. The UN saying that uh, 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 container ships that are able to get into Yemen, they're costing about 100% uh, more expensive, and some uh, humanitarian groups are saying that the costs are rising by as much as 300 percent, given the current situation in the Red Sea. All right. Gabriel Alessandro.